at a certain pet shop, one third of the pets are dogs and one fifth of the pets are birds. How many of the pets are dogs? Okay, so um, we don't know that all of the pets at our pet shop are either dogs or birds. So let's just think that we got our total pets and then uh, one third of those. So thinking one third of T are dogs and one fifth T uh, are birds. So let's think what this means. So if I get these in terms of a common denominator of 15, you know, I got five over 15 T dogs. And then I have three over 15. birds which means my other pets must make up 7 out of 15 T so 7 out of 15 T other um, and so I want to know uh, how many of the pets are dogs you know so what is 5 15 T but really this just means what is T Statement one, there are 30 birds at the pet shop. So that means 3 fifteenths T is equal to 30. So I can certainly solve for T here. So this is sufficient. Let's actually do that. So T is equal to 30 times 15 over three. So T is equal to 150. Uh, which means technically our dogs are equal to a third of that, which is 50. But remember, re, we uh, rephrased our question. So that doesn't even matter anymore. Uh, there are 20 more dogs than birds at the pet shop. So what does that mean? So that means uh, 5 fifteenths T. So my dogs are equal to my birds plus 20 is equal to three fifteenths T plus 20. And so then we can get, uh, subtract three fifteenths T from each side and we get two fifteenths T is equal to 20. And so once again, uh, this is gonna be sufficient. So our answer is going to be D. Let's see if we get T is equal to 150 again, we should. So T should be equal to 15 over two times 20. 20 over two is 10. 150 D each statement alone.